Hello, hello, sir, sir. Good evening, sir. Hello. So how's everything going, sir, sir? Uh, no, I know like how, how, Like, how are you? So I'm asking, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. Great, great. Uh, mira, esa es otra forma distinta de preguntar. How is, how is it going? So, how are you doing? All right. Or how okay, is... Wow. Ajá, ¿cómo va todo? ¿Cómo está? So I, I asked you, how is it going? How are you doing? How is everything going? You can say, um, you just can say simply, good. Or you can cool. say, uh, you can say not bad. Um, you can also say no match. Not much. Yeah, if I say, so how's it going? Yeah, good, not much. I mean. Okay. You don't have to. You don't have to say fine. Thank you. No, we don't say that. <laughs> All right. So this this is not the first time you're in classes, is or, is it? Uh, no, the the last class, I was not. Okay, so you were in yesterday's class. So you were in class yesterday. Were you in class yesterday, sister? No, yesterday. Okay. No class. All right. So you were not. You say I wasn't. Okay. I wasn't. I wasn't. Nice. Good evening, okay. Mr. Joseph Antonio Sierra. I can hear you. Your microphone is muted. So I have Mauricio Lemus. All right. Nati Montoya. And then I also have Zuma. Nice. And let's see how many participants so far, almost seven, eight, okay. We're gonna wait two minutes before we start the class, okay? So two more minutes and then we will get started. <clears throat> All right, so I need to ask you this, and this since uh, this is a, an intermediate level, would you like me to speak English, let's say, all the time, or would you like me to say English and Spanish at the same time? English is fine for me. Thank right. you. That's what I think too. <laughs> Thank you, Nati. All right. You know, this is a democracy and I think <laughs> your opinion matters over here. Okay. All right, so let, let's get started over here then. So today is Wednesday, November 18th, and the word of the date is as follows, okay? Just one second, I'm going to start with the example and then I'm going to tell you the word. Man, I don't want to hear it. How does having a student credit card control spending? It sounds you've spent yourself in a hole. So the word of the night or the word of the evening, everyone, is spend yourself. If we're talking about somebody else, I can say, uh, I'm going to use your name as an example, uh, Tanya. Okay. So I, I'm, go I'm going to say, uh, since you spend a lot of money on the new dress, you spend yourself in a hole right now where you have to spend yourself in a hole right now. This means estar endeudado, all right? Estar endeudado. If you were to say this in Salvadorian, uh, Salvadorian slang, how would you say this? To have a lot of things to pay, tener muchas deudas. How would you say this in Salvadorian slang? Can somebody tell me, please? So how would you say that? How do you say that estar endeudado? But in Salvadorian slang, how do you say that in Spanish? Enchuchado. <laughs> estar enchuchado, that's one option. What about another option? Uh huh.
Let me give you an example over here. No, que te miedo de otra, pero no sé. <laughs> okay. Lucky you. Lucky you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Any idea about this? You say estar enchuchado, estar en dicón, you say too, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So remember that since we're talking about idioms, an idiom is, I would say, a very informal way to, to express an idea. So in this case, you're saying that your salary or what you make is not enough and your debts or what you have to pay your bills are higher or bigger than your incomes or, or you know, what you make, your salary. Okay, so this is the expression mother. So it means that you have spent so much that you are now in a bad situation. When talking about money, to be in the hole means to owe, deber, to owe more than you have, to have spent more than you had available, etc. Okay, and you can say as an example, some people, okay, let me just erase this. Let me just erase this very quickly. All right, so some people spend themselves in a hole because they can control their shopping habits. If you had a shopaholic, okay, if you had a shopaholic, uh, you spend themselves in a hole, you know, se van de bolsa. So that's what we have. All right. <clears throat> if you say, I have spent myself in a hole, it's because you use too much of your credit card if you have one. All right. If you say uh, my mom, you can say she has spent herself in a credit in a hole or she is in a hole right now. All right. <clears throat> questions about this, by the way. Do you have any questions about this or not? Anybody? Or are we good right now? Do you have any questions about this idiom? ¿Verdad? Tener muchas deudas. We have a spend myself in a hole. If it's you, if it's a personal situation. If it's somebody else, like, I don't know, uh, your husband, your wife, you say he has spent himself or she has spent herself or you have spent yourself in a hole or you are in a hole, okay? So it means estar endeudado. That's the meaning of this. Nice. That being said, um, so it says, and that applies to any financial situation, whether personal or a business. In the whole is the slang term for being in debt. Significa que in the whole significa tener deudas. Okay. Eso significa estar en el agujero o estar en el hoyo. Okay, tener muchas deudas. You can say, I'm, I'm, I'm in a hole right now. If you speak to a native speaker, you know, someone from the States or from Canada, they will understand. They will say, Jesus Christ, you have a lot of debts and a, a lot of bills to pay. Okay, let's move forward over here. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have 10 participants for the evening. And the first activity that you're going to be working on is a general listening quiz. And the name of this quiz is a student credit card. Okay. That's why we're talking about debts. Por eso estamos hablando de las deudas. Okay. Because we're going to be talking about a student credit card. That if I were you, I wouldn't get a credit card. All right. Because it's difficult to control what you spend. Okay, don't you think so? So the first thing right now will be you're going to listen to uh, a, a conversation about a student credit card and you're going to tell me the main idea. Me van a decir la idea principal. All right? Is that clear? Teacher. Yes. Yo 
ahorita aquí en mi casa está lloviendo mucho, entonces no sé si voy a poder escuchar bien todo. Solo le aviso. Vale, no se preocupe. Eh, esto solo es una práctica, después van a tener la oportunidad de, de, de practicar la conversación. ¿verdad? Pero me interesa mucho que practiquemos la cuestión eh, de comprensión auditiva. Entonces, um, if you can do it, that's okay. If you cannot do it, no problem. All right. También, you know, it's optional if you want to send uh, your score to me or not. All right. So that's also optional. Okay. And I understand, don't worry about that. Let me just get this uh, thing, you know, so I can share it with you. Give me just a couple of seconds, please. All right. So just one moment over here. Here we go. All right. Um, All right, so let me know when you're ready, please. Are you ready? Yes, we are ready. All right, yes. thank you. All right, thank you. Yeah, I, I need you to answer, not because I'm your teacher, but in that way I know that my connection is stable. All right, please. So I appreciate that. Uh, so, uh, Put on your uh, earphones if you have some and try to pay close attention over here. So what you're gonna do is just to tell me anything about the conversation, any detail or just the main idea. You know, who has the credit card? Is it a, a girl or is it a boy? Okay, is it the wife or the husband or brother and sister or dad and mom? So that's what you're going to tell me right now. So one second me here. Okay, so can you see the screen and share him over here with you? Yes? Yes. yes. All right, so we're going to start with a pre-listening exercise because I need to activate it, the, the knowledge that you have. So we have in here, I'm, I'm just going to read this. A student credit cards, I mean, student credit cards are becoming more and more popular. And a number of websites can provide information on comparing your options. With these ideas in mind, what are the advantages and disadvantages of using credit cards, particularly for people your age and in similar financial situations? Do means informal money. What we say, la papa, el bullullo. You know, that's duff. We say duff. But when you're talking about in a formal way, duff means la harina del pan. But in this case, it means la papa, ¿verdad? No como los anuncios que andan en la calle los vendedores, ¿verdad? But in this case, it's el bullullo, el dinero, el pisto, like we say. So this word will appear in the conversation. That's what I'm giving it to you right now, okay? And then we have, uh, have money to burn. Como cuando decimos, tengo cinco pesos para hacer los leños, para hacer los pedazos. Have you heard that expression before? Have you heard that expression, everyone? Tener, no sé, dinero disponible para gastar y hacer los pedazos. Yes. Yes, you, you, yes. Heard, that, you heard that before, right? So this, this is how you say it in English. So I have money to burn. You know, I have money to burn. Okay? And do is la papa, right? The do. We don't really use that because instead of using this, we use box. ¿Verdad? La gente eh, utiliza esa palabra mal. De hecho, yo no ocupo eso, pero se lo voy a mandar. Box. You got it right. Box means, eh, literalmente, como decimos, informalmente, that one. All right. You got it in the chat? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. So, but in the States, people use box. You, you say you have 20 bucks. Can you, can you lend me 20 bucks or $20? So, it's an informal way to save money. All right. Same as... Do, but, but do is even more informal. So here we go. I'm going to I'm going to show you. I'm gonna show you the questions over. Uh, no, no. Right now I'm just gonna play the listening, and then you're going to tell me a couple of details over here. 
All right, here we go. One, uh, two, and three. I just muted your microphone so you can listen in a better way. Hi, sis. I just came over to drop off the DVDs you wanted, and hey, wow. Where did you get all this stuff? I bought it. So what do you think of my new entertainment center and the widescreen TV? Bought it? And my new DVD player. Here, let me show you my stereo. You can really rock the house with this one. But where did you get the dough to buy all this? You didn't borrow money from mom and dad again, did you? Of course not. I got it with this. This? Let me see that. Have you been using dad's credit card again? No, silly. It's mine. It's a student credit card. A student credit card? How in the world did you get one of these? I got an application in the mail. Well, why did you get one in the first place? Listen, times are changing, and having a credit card helps you build a credit rating, control spending, and even buy things that you can't pay with cash, like the plane ticket I got recently. What plane ticket? Oh yeah, my roommate and I are going to Hawaii over the school break, and of course I need some new clothes for that, so... I don't want to hear it. How does having a student credit card control spending? It sounds like you've spent yourself into a hole. Anyway, student credit cards just lead to impulse spending, as I can see here. And the interest rates of student credit cards are usually sky high. And if you miss a payment, the rates will just jump. The credit card has a credit limit. Of $20,000? No, not quite that high. Anyway... I've heard enough. Did I tell you we now get digital cable with over 100 channels? Mm -hmm. Oh, and here's your birthday present, a new MP3 player. Yeah. No, don't tell me. Charged on the credit card. Listen, hey, I don't think having a student credit card is a bad idea, but this is ridiculous. And how in the world are you going to pay off your credit card bill? Uh, with my birthday money? It's coming up in a week. Hey, let's sit down and talk about how you're going to pay things back. And maybe we can come up with a budget that will help you get out of this mess. That's the least I can do. All right. So you can unmute your microphones, that's okay. Let me ask you, do you have any idea what the conversation is about? Or I, uh, let me ask you here in writing, okay? Um, let me just move this screen a little bit. So you're gonna get this. What stuff or things did she buy with the credit card? It's actually a student credit card very specific so i just uh share with you a question and so that you can uh have that into consideration right what is tough for things did she buy with a credit card can somebody tell me if you actually remember or would you like me to play the listening again you can say teacher i want to listen to this again you want me to repeat uh... I think she bought a DVD and a cereal. Yes, correct. Yes, that's right. Those those are two things that she bought. What else? Uh, and I appreciate I appreciate your answers in here. Somebody else got a different thing. She bought an MP3 for her brother. For her brother, right? Yes, that's right. And was he happy about that? No, he was not happy. <laughs> not really, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Thank you. Anybody else? She has uh, twenty thousand dollar in the credit card. Yeah, they they think uh, no. The brother thinks that the credit card limit it's twenty thousand dollars, but she says no, it's actually lower than that right twenty thousand dollars imagine having a, a credit card in which you can spend up to twenty thousand dollars that's too much right don't you think so veinte mil dollars the limit of the tarjeta imagine that yeah. <laughs> exactly compro una casa con eso aquí <laughs> you know, I get a, I get a house in here. Now, uh, take a look at this. I just sent to you, to the uh, personal chat, the information for the listening activity. And that's what I want you to complete, okay? It's a quiz. But before I do so, I'm going to share the screen 
of the uh, listening a uh, one more time all right all right so here we go and um sorry about that so um that's the one so uh did you get the information in the in the whatsapp everyone mm, yes i got it all right so i want you to open i want you to open the uh you know the material you know and then you need to have this the same screen in front of you okay and then maybe with uh just one second maybe you can have your cell phone or a notebook with a pencil or, or a pen next to you and just try to mark the, the uh, answers over here. Or you just can do it in your computer or your cell phone. So what I'm gonna do for you, I, I, I'm going to play the listening a second time and you're going to choose the options over here. That first one, it says, the woman got a credit card because she, they have three options wants to buy things at a discount, doesn't want to borrow money from family, she wants to build a good credit card, I mean, uh, credit rating, etc. So I'm gonna ask uh, Luis, Mr. Biatoro, could you help us, could you please help us read the second question, the one that says the woman didn't buy, and then the auctions, and then number three, please. So Luis, can, can you help us read, please? All right, it seems that you cannot hear us over here. Mauricio, help us please read the questions and the auctions, please. Okay. The woman didn't buy a digital camera, a TV, a stereo. All right. Next one, please. Uh, this. The man says that a problem with credit cards is that interest rates are often very high. They can be used use it in all countries it can lead to internet fraud all right thank you it can be used in all countries it can lead to internet fraud and let me just choose somebody else um mauricio uh, let's see uh nati help us please the credit card lead on the woman's card is about eighteen thousand twenty one thousand 12,000, 20,000. All right, and the next one, please. The man suggests that the woman. The man suggests that the woman shred her credit cards, come up a financial management plan, pay off her debt with birthday money. All right, okay, shred means destrozarla, verdad? Pero hacerlo como picadillo. That's what it means, shred, okay? So uh, this is what you're gonna be listening uh, to the second time. So remember, the first one is how the woman got a credit card for, okay? The woman didn't buy, why didn't she buy? We know that she bought a stereo and then she got something else. The next one, the man says that a problem with credit cards is that, what's the problem? Next one, the credit card limit is, on the woman's card is about cerca de. It's about means cerca de. Or approximately. The man suggests that the woman, the woman is his sister, right? All right, so are you ready to listen? Yes? Yes. Yes. All right, so I'm going to mute your microphones and then I'm going to play this a second time. All right. Here we go. Hi, sis. I just came over to drop off the DVDs you wanted, and Hey, wow. Where did you get all this stuff? I bought it. So what do you think of my new entertainment center? And the widescreen TV? Bought it? And my new DVD player. Here, let me show you my stereo. You can really rock the house with this one. But where did you get the dough to buy all this? You didn't borrow money from mom and dad again, did you? Of course not. I got it with this. This? Let me see that. Have you been using Dad's credit card again? No, silly. It's mine. It's a student credit card. A student credit card? How in the world did you get one of these? 
I got an application in the mail. Well, why did you get one in the first place? Listen, times are changing, and having a credit card helps you build a credit rating, control spending, and even buy things that you can't pay with cash, like the plane ticket I got recently. What plane ticket? Oh yeah, my roommate and I are going to Hawaii over the school break, and of course I need some new clothes for that. So. I don't want to hear it. How does having a student credit card control spending? It sounds like you've spent yourself into a hole. Anyway, student credit cards just lead to impulse spending, as I can see here. And the interest rates of student credit cards are usually sky high. And if you miss a payment, the rates well just jump. The credit card has a credit limit of twenty thousand dollars. No, not quite that high. Anyway, I've heard enough. Did I tell you we now get digital cable with over a hundred channels?、Mm -hmm. Oh, and here's your birthday present—a new MP3 player. Yeah. No, don't tell me. Charged on the credit card. Listen, hey, I don't think having a student credit card is a bad idea, but this is ridiculous. And how in the world are you going to pay off your credit card bill? Uh, with my birthday money? It's coming up in a week. Hey, let's sit down and talk about how you're going to pay things back, and maybe we can come up with a budget that will help you get out of this mess. That's the least I can do. All right, all right. So, um, let's do something over here. Okay, since you have access to this website,、uh, I mean to this place and this material, so you can easily just take the quiz、uh, and just share your answers through the WhatsApp with me. For example, if you believe that the woman got a credit card because she doesn't want to borrow money from family, you mark it down over here. I just gave you the answer. Okay, so and then and then you continue with number two, three, four. And then the last one, and then in the same place. Let me just stop sharing this this screen. In the same、uh, place, right below, in the part of the above, le va a decir, you know, how many points you got. All right. And then get a screenshot. Le sacan una captura de pantalla. Get a screenshot, and then send it to the chat in in, in WhatsApp, please. Are you okay? Are you okay with that, everyone? So take the quiz, get a screenshot of your score, and then、uh, send it through. Okay, if you want to. Okay, you know this is just optional, but I think it's gonna help you with your listening skills. Let me just ask somebody here if the message was delivered correctly.、Um, let's see, Mr. Cesar.、Uh, Cesar Hernandez, please, Mr. Hernandez. Yeah, thank you.、Uh, what do you have to do right now? By the way, what did I say you should do? ¿Qué debemos hacer ahorita con el listening? What should we do? I mean, you can say it in Spanish or English, right? Doesn't matter. Sí, según、eh, entendí que había que escucharlo y responder el lo que está ahí en en el, en el... En el, el link que mandó、uh -huh. y、eh, hacer una captura de pantalla y mandarlo al, al chat. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to. El resultado que obtuvimos. Correct, the score. Yeah, thank you. You got it. Appreciate that.、Uh, you know, I can see that some of you already sent the、uh, image already, the screenshot. So、uh, you can do the same, please. If you want to listen again, do it right now. I'm just gonna be quiet. All right. Nice. If you did this already, I'm going to share with you the、uh, the script. You know the conversation over there, because that's the second thing we're gonna be working on right now. You're gonna practice this conversation with somebody. You're gonna practice in person. All right. So second activity over here. If you listen to the quiz already and and send the、uh, Discord through the chat, 
right now click on the second uh, material i just shared with you the one that says this is the actual conversation okay so in there you're going to be able to see the uh com the script you know the conversation and writing then okay All right, so a great job, Mr. Duarte. You got five out of five. Nati, you got five out of five, uh, which is great. Edwin, you also got three out of five. That's good. And then we have Mariana, five out of five. Nice. And who's next one? Tania, five out of five. Jose Sierra, you got five out of five. That's you know that's outstanding. And Mauricio, also five out of five, etc. Five out of five. All right. Uh, just to let you know, uh, every, every single class we're going to be working, you know, we're going to be working on these listening exercises and also practicing the information, you know, the conversation. So you're going to be killing two birds with one stone, dos pájaros de un solo tiro, right? So you're going to listen to the conversation, you know, practice uh, with the answers over there, and then... Uh, practice a conversation so two uh, birds with one stun don't worry about it jocelyn i mean if you just got this score you know no problem just keep on practicing okay and then we have dl here you got that's okay i mean one out of five that's uh you know we start with something so don't get disappointed all right so jocelyn so did you get the second the second uh access that i that i just shared with you did you get the the second access information the one that says this is the actual conversation recibieron ese mensaje yep yes all right so thank you what i'm gonna do right now for you i'll be splitting you up lo voy a dividir in purse in the breaker rooms and what you're gonna do is to practice. One is going to be the brother and the other one, the sister that, you know, spends a lot of money, okay? So 12 participants, we have uh, six groups of, I mean, six pairs. And here we go. Uh, so Blanca, uh, let's see here. Yeah, there's only one group, so three in here. So Blanca, you're with Jose Sierra, Mariana, Adriana, you with Manuel Duarte, Cesar with Tania, Edwin with, with uh, Zulma, Jocelyn with Luis, and then Mauricio with Nati. So join the, the rooms, please. Unámonos, por favor, a la, a la práctica en, en pareja en estos momentos, por favor. So let's join the breaker rooms, please. Any questions? Are we good? So we're good. All right. Thank you. Ah, sorry. I just. All right. So, Sulma, your connection is, is, is not stable. So, I didn't understand anything over there. And that's the one. Hello, Jocelyn. Yeah, hello, Jocelyn. Hello. I mean, let's practice if you want to. No se preocupe si sacó un, un puntaje bajo. No se preocupe. Okay, es que a mí me cuesta bastante. Sí, no, no se preocupe. Eh, lo importante es que, que persevere y vamos a ir aprendiendo poco a poco. Lo que pasa es que yo quiero okay. hacer la, la clase lo más parecida a que ustedes estuvieran en, en, en un salón de clase, en el hecho de que tengan interacción, no solo de que yo esté hablando, sino el hecho de que usted empiece a producir, ¿verdad? Y empiece a, ten, a entender, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay. Así que de eso se trata. 
ya va a ver que al final de este mes usted va a decir, ah, aprendí esto, aprendí lo otro. Créame, créame. Mm. Bueno, entonces, I'm going to be them. Uh, quiero ver, aquí está su compañero. Si no, con el compañero lo va a practicar, no conmigo. Ok. So, is your classmate over here? Ahorita no, no ha entrado mi compañero, ¿verdad? Yo creo que no. Entonces, si gusta, let's practice together. I'm going to be the, the man, ok? And you will be the woman, all right? Ok. So, here we go. Eh, creo que, quiero ver, le estoy compartiendo la pantalla, sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. So we have, uh, hi, sis, I just came over to drop off the DVDs you wanted, and hey, wow, where did you get all of this stuff? <laughs> I, I bought it, so what do you think of my new entertainment center? And the Wizard Cream TV. Bought it. And my new DVD player. Here, let me show you my stereo. stereo. You can really, really rock the house with this one. But where did you get the dub to buy all of this? You didn't borrow money from mom and dad again, did you? Of course not. I go in it with this. <laughs> y muestra la tarjeta. Ah, <laughs> And then okay. we go. Yeah, this. Let me see that. Have you been using that credit card again? No. Silly. Silly is. Silly significa tonto o no pasmado, ah. like we say it in Spanish. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, silly. Uh -huh. It's me. It's my. It's a student credit credit card. Mm -hmm. A student credit card. How in the world did you get one of these? <laughs> Le pega. <laughs> I got an application in May. Well, why did you get one in the first place? In primer lugar, ¿por qué? Uh -huh. Listen, times are, sh are changing. No sé cómo changing. se pronuncia eso. Uh, changing. 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 <laughs> And having a credit card help you build a credit rating, mm -hmm. control speeding, and even void things that you can buy with cash like the plane ticket i got recently what plane ticket <laughs> oh yeah my romance and i are going to hawaii or over the school break and of course i needed some new Va a comprar la ropa y se de viaje, imagínese. De ahí le dice el hermano, I don't, I, don't want to, I, I don't want to hear it. How does having a student credit card control spending? It sounds you've spent yourself in a hole. Está aquí, ¿verdad? Hundido. Mm -hmm. Anyway, student credit cards just lead to impulse spending. As I can see here, and the interest rates of student credit cards are usually sky high. And if you miss a payment, the rates will just jump. Ah, the credit card has a credit limit? Of $2,000. <laughs> no, no. It's too high anyway. Uh, quite significa como muy, muy. Es como que ah. diga very, very, que diga very is quite. Very, muy. Okay. Uh -huh. Quite right. or, or quite. I hear, I hear enough. Ya escuché demasiado. Suficiente. Did I tell you we know the yeah, dig, dig, digital cab with over one stand? ¿Cómo es 100? 100. Uh, 100 channels. Channels? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. and here is your birthday present. I knew MP3. <laughs> MP3 player. MP3 player. 
Y, le, y, te, compré un y te, comp te compré un teléfono, ¿verdad? te compré un uh -huh. iPad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't tell me, charge on the credit card. Listen, I don't think having a student credit card is a bad idea, but this is ridiculous. And how in the world are you going to pay off your credit card bill? ¿Cómo va a pagar, verdad, la credit card? Mm, with my beard eye money, it's coming up in a week. Hey, let's sit. Yeah, hey, let's sit down and talk about how you're going to pay things back. And maybe we can come up with a budget, budget is presupuesto, that will help you get out of this mess. That's the least I can do. Es lo menos que puedo hacer. All right. Yo le recomendaría, eh, Jocelyn, que si tiene alguna palabra, yo sé que hay muchas palabras que quizás no entiende de esta conversación, ¿verdad? Y eso no hay ningún problema. Todos comenzamos igual que usted. No se preocupe. Eh, solo anote alguna palabra que usted piensa que la puede utilizar con mayor frecuencia. ¿Verdad? Yeah. Por, ejemplo, por ejemplo, como el verbo buy. Comprar este acá. Buy. Okay. ¿Verdad? Buy. Y, de ahí, y de ahí cositas como pay. Y can't. Cosas así, ¿verdad? Pero de ahí algún otro vocabulario. No se preocupe. Los números sí es indispensable saberse, ¿verdad? 20 y 1,000 se dice 1,000. Entonces solo pone 20,000. 20,000. 100 se dice 1. Uh, y luego los dos ceros que marcan 100 va a decir 100. Si estuviera aquí el 2 sería 200. Si estuviera el 3, 300. Si estuviera el 4, 400 y así. Eh, ayuda mucho a hacer la, 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 la interrogación, ¿verdad? Si es pregunta, diga... What plane ticket? ¿Verdad? Y como que le pregunta al hermano, oh, of $2,000? Of $2,000, ¿verdad? Entonces hay que hacer la, la, la entonación. Eso ayuda mucho, se lo digo. Ayuda mucho. Ok. Yeah. Entonces, let's go back to the main station over here. All right? Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Se entiende un poquito mejor la conversación, pero ya cuando, cuando mm -hmm. usted ya se le, se le haya gusto, ¿verdad? Sí. <ríe> El hermano la verdad. lo está... El hermano lo está regañando. ¿Sabe, sabe una cosa más? Ya para terminar. Esta conversación uh -huh. es una conversación real. Yo ocupo de este lugar conversaciones reales. O sea, no es sacada de un CD, sino que uh -huh. es, una, es, es, un, es un gringo que él ha uh -huh. puesto a disposición gratis, eh, listening eh, fáciles, intermedios y difíciles. Este es un intermedio. Y como, yeah. es, como es inglés real y una conversación real, solamente ellos la grabaron y empezaron a conversar, por eso es que es un poquito más difícil. No es como la que están en la plataforma que sigue una secuencia, pues no se van a salir de ahí. Mm, ya. Yeah. Ajá. Entonces, si usted sabe hacer esto y va mejorando con el tiempo, quiere decir que usted sí está aprendiendo inglés de verdad, no lo que le dice un libro. <risa> ok. Yeah. So, so that's the idea. So let's go back, please. All right. All right. So I can see that most of you are already back. So I'm going to ask the uh, participation of two volunteers. One that can help me be the, uh, let's see, somebody's writing over here and it says, muy rápido, me regresó automáticamente. Sorry, teacher, I can't. <laughs> okay. Um, so I need two volunteers. A gentleman. Un caballero en a, en a lady. Ok, una señorita. All right. Who says me? Recuérdense que Zoom tiene la aplica, la, el feature que pueden levantar la manita. Así yo puedo ver en los participantes. 
So, Mr. Manuel, would you like to help us to be the man? Yes. All right. Don't worry about it. You know, that's why you're here, you know, to, to practice and learn a little bit. All right. But solamente para aclarar, yo durante la conversación no lo voy a corregir y nunca lo voy a hacer. Lo voy, a des, voy a tomar nota de las palabras para decirle, vaya, se dice tal cosa al final de que terminen de practicar. Así todos practicamos. All right. So that's what me, I'm going to do. Me, teacher. Uh, allow me just... Tania, teacher. you say me? Yes. All right. Hold on. Alguien me está diciendo teacher. Yeah, who's the teacher? Eh, yo estaba en una, una sesión y como éramos tres, solo pude practicar eh, mis dos compañeros. Yo no pude practicarlo. Híjole, um, entonces, si, si, entonces acá. eso le voy a decir, Manuel, si, si nos da ahí la pauta para que lo haga. Of All right, so Tania, you're going to practice with, uh, who was speaking over here? Because I don't know your voice and I don't, I don't recognize your face. So, uh, Tania with, si me confirma rápidamente, con quien era, perdón. No me escucha quién habló. Ajá. Oye, ese no fue. Donde estaban tres, dijo Ajá. en el grupo. Ajá, pero the name, please, se perdió quizás la señal. Bueno, entonces, Manuel, go ahead, please, help us, Manu. Mr. Duarte, you're the man now. Yes, okay. Hi, sis. I just came over to drop of DVDs. You to watch her and hey how hey go where did you get all of this stuff hi boy uh, so what do you think of my of my new oh. entertainment center and the whiskers tv bro it and my new dvd player here let me show my stereo you can really rock the house with this this one. But where do you get uh, the nut, the downs, the buy all this? You didn't draw more from one that way, did you? Of course not. I got it with this. Uh, this, let me see that. How you been using that credit card away? No, silly. It's mine. It's a student, a student credit card. A student uh, credit card. <laughs> a student credit card. How in the world did you get one of this? I got the application in the email. Well. Uh, why did you get um, one in the first place? Listen, uh, times are change, changing uh, and uh, having a credit card helps you build a credit rating, control okay. spending and uh, even buy things that you can pay with cash, like the plane ticket and I got recently. <laughs> What flight tickets? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> my roommate and I are going to Hawaii over the school break. I'm course and I need some white cloth for dancer. I don't want to hear it. How does it, how we are studying credit card control spending? It sounds your spend your source in a horse mm -hmm. anyway starting credit card it just led to a push spending spending as mm -hmm. i can see here and the interest interest rates of a study credit card are usually sky high and if you miss a payment or payments the rates will just jump? Jump, jump. yes. Jump. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, the credit card has a credit limit. Of um, $20,000? <laughs> no, not quite that hit. Anyway. I we heard an ounce. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you we now get digital cable with over 1,000 channels? Oh, and here your birthday present, a new MP3 player. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, don't tell me, Tiger on the credit card. Listen, hey, I don't think having a study credit card is a bad idea. But uh, this is ridiculous. And how in the world are you going to play of your credit card bill? Mm. Mm. With my birthday money, it's coming up in a week. Hey, mm. hey, let's sit down and talk about how you're going to play Simpac things back and maybe we can come up with a budget uh, that will have help you get of is this mess mm -hmm. that's uh, the less i can do all right so uh now let me just ask you everyone I think it's better if you ask me, teacher, how do you pronounce this word? I think it's better if you ask me, teacher, how do you say that word? Okay? So ask me. So ask me, please, right now. How do you how do you say that word? Pregúnteme. Dígame, mire, no sé cómo decir esto. Uh, tell me, please. Tell me, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, uh, widget screen? Ah, uh, okay. Let's start with this. White screen. Pantalla plana. White, white, white screen. White screen. White screen, white screen TV. Screen. White screen TV. White screen TV. Okay. White screen TV. All right. Anything else? Take the take it. Say money. Do, do. Ah no no you said do do do. Do. Co como el número dos sin la s. Do. 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 Where did you get the do to buy all this? Do. Just do, do. Okay. Yes. Like bark and do are the same thing. Excuse me. Silly. Ah, silly, 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 silly. Okay, silly significa no tonto, no, no dundo. Or no, or no, no pasmado, no pasmado. Ah, exacto. <laughs> okay, <Yes>. exactly. <laughs> like, 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 yes. like bro brother and sister, you know, no, Pamado. <laughs> uh -huh, it's mine, you know. Uh huh. Anything else? When, when he say mess, ah, aprieto. Mm. Ah, okay. Okay, okay sure. over here. Yeah, mess, aprieto. O problema. Mess. For example, if your if your if your room is messy, está desordenado. Si tiene un cuarto desordenado, you, it's messy. Como el como el jugador, messy. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, like the player. Use right? uh, use jumps. And uh, use jump. 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 Uh, just jump. Just jump. Just jump. Just jump. Uh -huh. O sea que uh, se va a ir para arriba. Go. O sea, aquí. Well, just uh, jump. La, o sea, la, los intereses, uh, los intereses. Ah, uh, uh, okay, straight. Right, right. Uh huh. You see, sky uh, high. Mm -hmm. Sky high is a similar expression. Like, like very high, you know, altísimos. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's an expression. Yeah, well, it, me... Yeah, no. This this expression is something that you can learn. You know, that's the least I can do. For example, if mm. I tell you, I, I can tell you, listen to music, you know, listen to music in English, okay? Listen to romantic music, and then I can tell you, that's the least you can do, or that's the least I can do. It, lo menos I que pueden hacer, ¿verdad? Es lo menos que pueden hacer. How do you pronounce? Aha, right. okay. uh -huh. Sulma. 
uh, and the sentence that say, I are going to. Ah, who are you going to pay off? Here, the world, here, no. I believe that they no. the, it's... the car uh -huh. When they go to yeah. Hawaii. With, with to Hawaii. How do you pronounce it? Yeah. I mean, which one do you say? Oh, yeah. I, my, my roommate and I are going to Hawaii over the school break. Break. Break is la pausa, ¿verdad? Así como, como Semana Santa es una pausa, ellos dicen school break. Navidad, que vamos a dejar de ir a estudiar o de trabajar, is, is school break. We know Christmas break. That's how they call it. Ellos no tienen el periodo de semana. Ok, school but, break. But... Which one, Suma? If you, if, you, if you want, you can just write it down in the chat, please, and I can reply to you uh, later on, okay? Uh, now, let's, let's continue with the next no, activity. Uh -huh. Okay. But it's in a, I, I going. Lo que pasa, Zulma, es que su conexión es inestable y no le escuchamos muy bien. Entonces, no le escucho muy bien, no le logro entender. Okay, so that's what happened. So I don't really understand what you're saying. So next activity, this is this is for you, everyone. All right. So the next activity for you. Um, so just one second over here. So let me just uh, show you this. All right. And can you see this? The one that says past tense start review. Can you see that? Hi. Uh, Yes? Yes. Yes. All right, so we have two, three minutes to start practicing this, but I'm going to give you a demonstration, okay? So you click, I just send this to the WhatsApp. I just send it to you to the WhatsApp, all right? You just click where it says start, and then you're going to have these verbs. What you got to do is just to look for the per. So the name a do, we got to go with did. All right, hit. We look for hit and we just, you know, scroll up or scroll down. Argue, we just match it. O sea, lo emparejamos with this one. Try, and then we go try. And then spill, spill. Listen, listen. And there we go. And then there's this another thing. We see the image and then we just see what it is. I think it's hit. And then we go, he hit a ball. All right, and then we got this one. What is it? Advertise, right? And then you look for the verb in the past and you continue. So what, what you're going to do for the next two minutes, you're going to play it in this uh, platform. And then if you want, you can share the score with me. Okay? And that's the last thing you're going to be doing for the night. Okay? Practiquen con este juego. And if you like, share with me the score. So that's what you have to do. Al final, si gustan, comparten el puntaje. All right? So try to do it, please. I just send this to the chat. All right, so is that clear? Uh, yes. All right, thank you. Share your feedback. And I mean, keep on playing. You have many exercises over there. Nice. I mean, keep on, keep on practicing, Mr. Duarte Manuel, uh, until you finish the whole exercise. We still have time. One more minute. All right. Now, and in your mind, you know, try to practice, try to practice the pronunciation of, of the verbs. You know, you have the simple present and then you have the, the past over there. All right.
Right, so I'm afraid, gentlemen, uh, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, it's time to say goodbye. But uh, I think uh, tonight we did something uh, good for you. You know, you practice this listening activity, which is real English. It's not from a textbook, you know, it's not from a textbook or something like that. It's a real person talking, you know, with his sister. And that's a conversation you listen to about the credit card. All right? So tomorrow we're going to be practicing some other conversations and some more rhythm exercises. And then it's the last week of the intermediate module. So I got to say goodbye to you. Thanks for participating and see you tomorrow, everyone. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Right. See you tomorrow. Right, so have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.